everybody, my name is Jasmine and I work at the Apple Store in Brea. I currently don't have a car right now because it was totaled about two years ago, so I've been working really hard and saving up to get it going again. So in the meantime, I have to rely on my mom and my boyfriend to get rides to work, which is super cool, I know. <laughs> um, but just because I have rides to work doesn't mean that they're really reliable. Um, my mom has her own schedule and she has ADD. And what this means is even though I tell her what my schedule is going to be and I try to match them up, <coughs> she forgets me at home sometimes. I'll get ready for work, I'll walk outside and her car's gone. I'll try getting a hold of her, of course I can't get a hold of her, and she's just left me. Um, so at Apple, the way it works is you get three warnings and then you're terminated. And within those three warnings, you can get three points, which gives you a warning. Now in the past year, my mom's left me seven times, which has given me two warnings plus some change which has been pretty horrible because I really feel like I can't lose my job. Um, sorry. Okay, um, so fast forward to July. Um, I was spending the night with my boyfriend one time because we both had work early the next morning. Now, my boyfriend is this really like carefree kind of guy. He just likes to wake up, roll out of bed, take a shower, and leave his house 30 minutes before work starts, which is fine, but he lives in Newport. And from Newport to Brea, that's cutting it really close. So that night, I begged him to leave an hour before work so he'd make it safe and I wouldn't have to get my third warning. Because as I have told you, my rides are unreliable and I knew I'd be terminated probably really quickly. Um, okay, so I wake up the next morning, I get ready, I'm ready to leave an hour before work and we can't find his keys. We're looking frantically around the house everywhere and they're nowhere to be found. We finally find them, but it, we I only have 15 minutes before work starts, and there's no way that we can get from Newport to Brea in 15 minutes. So of course, I had to take another point. I'm completely furious at him, I feel like killing him, but I just have to deal with it. The next day, I go into work, and in my emails, I get an email from my manager saying that I have four points and I'm due for another warning. I couldn't believe it. I was pretty devastated, but I decided to bite the bullet and just go over to my manager and ask him about the warning, just sign the paperwork and just get it done. I walk over to my manager and he says that he's busy, so he'll come find me later on in the day. Um, so I, I think nothing of it. I'm pretty anxious the entire day. I walk him back by him about like five times and he doesn't say anything. So I think that I'm in the clear. A couple days go by, same thing. I walk by him, I have plenty of conversations with him, but he doesn't give me a warning. So I think, oh my gosh, I don't have a warning for some reason, and I feel really lucky. Um, fast forward to August, I'm um, in the middle of a, uh, a session with a customer, and my manager walks up to me and says he needs to talk to me right after my session. So I, at this point in time, my heart sinks, I feel like I can't even breathe, I can't wait to be done with this session. As soon as it's over, I walk into the manager's office, and he takes me outside the store and hands me my final warning. I just signed the paperwork and I've, I'm devastated. I know my time at Apple is limited because of course my mom's going to forget me again. They're, it's inevitable. Um, so I signed the paperwork. I can't wait for my shift to be over. I go home, I crawl into bed, and I can't stop crying. And on top of that, I also can't stop reading my warning. I know it's masochistic, but I just couldn't stop reading it. And after like the millionth time, I, something popped out or stood out to me. It said that I got a point on July 10th, which is the day after my sister's birthday, and I thought that was really strange because I didn't remember working the day after my sister's birthday. And I checked the unofficial schedule, and it didn't say I was working either, so I was really confused. The next day, I went into my manager's office, and, um, and I asked him about it. He pulled something up on the computer, he was fumbling through paperwork, and he was also fumbling through his phone, and I didn't understand what was going on. And he said, do you know why you got that point? And I, I was just like looked in shock. I couldn't even respond. And he said, you weren't on the schedule, but we did ask you to, to see if you could come in and work today. But you said you couldn't. So I was really confused. I was like, well, then why did I get the point? Before I could even say anything, he deleted something off the computer. He takes out my final warning and just rips it up. So I'm in the clear. My job is no longer in jeopardy. And I no longer have to kill my boyfriend or fight him. <laughs>